talk with him. At the time, who is already talking about his money because he knows what the pro deal is. I'm going to talk to him real quick. Congratulations to our main event tonight. Got a main event. He was Devontae Rambo Davis. Outstanding second round knockout tonight. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Just doing it for my fans. All right. And I get your fans enjoyed it. No question about it. Uh, what punch landed that cut? Because uh, everybody, I guess Bill Clancy referee said it was definitely a cut that landed that, I mean, a cut punch that landed the cut. Uh, it was the um, left hand straight down the middle that um, cut him open, but it was a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot done. This was a lot this week, going into this bout. Your thoughts, you walked into this ring tonight in front of all your fans. You walked into the, to the, to the, to the ring, in Coppin State, first bout headlining your hometown, first bout fighting your hometown as a pro. Your thoughts as you walked to the ring? It was like, it was time to have fun now. I've been doing a lot of training, hard training down in Florida, so it was actually, actually hot down there. So I've been working hard, so when I came back home, it was just time to have fun. And I was uh, kind of nervous, but that's what I dreamed of. So. Yeah, I saw you sharing a few minutes uh, with Vincent Petway at the end here. Uh, did, did he have anything in particular to say to you in terms of passing on some words of knowledge, one one Baltimore pro to another? Just, just um, stay focused and continue, continue to be great. Okay, well, that's good Sounds advice. Good. Sounds good. So hopefully this will, this will be the first of many for you here, Devontae. Yeah. Yeah. You, you say you got in the trunks that you were always a dream catcher. Explain what that means to you. That's coming, like, coming up with like, hard times and stuff. And not not um, losing my focus for real. So as a dude that's going to make me on, he, he had dream chasing. But he just he came out like two years ago. But I've been dream chasing since I was young. So I always like this. So I kept, I All right, good enough. Well, best wishes to you. Do your success. Javante Rambo Davis wins by technical knockout. In the second round, tremendous performance in the main event. That's it. His Thank next you, belt, I'm getting down to All one right, good enough. So once again, tremendous show put Get together busy. by by Keystone Promotions, Rise Promotions, Cash Cow Promotions. Tremendous show here at Coffin State. And we now move on to what should be a interesting month of August. August 3rd will be at uh, Millersville, Maryland at the Club One Fitness with Tony Jetter and uh, also James Stevenson. Now, you, some people may have seen the post on Facebook. Let me just say one thing. Tony Jetter is not fighting James Stevenson, okay? It looks like that, but that's not the case. They are not fighting each other, but they are two guys, one of them again from Baltimore, who uh, could put on some very good shows coming up on a good show on August 3rd. Yeah, you, you know, sometimes uh, people kind of Jump, skip a step, or however you want to word it. And uh, I mean, we've, we've seen oftentimes you'll have two guys on a card mm -hmm. against separate opponents. Right. And that's what they're doing. Separate mm -hmm. opponents on a card. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but it should be a very interesting night that night. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right. And then Saturday, August 10th, Washington Convention Center. Uh, Ty Barnett is not going to be on the card. He'll be promoting the card. Alexander Great Johnson is scheduled to be on that card. Uh, James McGirt Jr. is scheduled to be on that card. Brandon Quarles is actually supposed to be in the main event. And we don't have opponents for him yet, but we'll have him very, very shortly for you as well, August 10th. Also, we want to also mention that we have a number of boxers fighting in the Junior Golden Gloves in Mesquite, Nevada. Unfortunately, no one gave me a list on who's on the card. So I, don't, I know that Daryl Tyson brought a few boxers from Langdon Gym up there, but we don't know who is going to be on the show, who is on that, on that, uh, in that program. Uh, thank you to Bruce Frank, who said that Kevon Robinson of Stanton, Virginia, did win his weight class in the 12, 13 pound, 12, 15 age, I believe it was the 80 pound weight class. He's been very, very successful over the last few months in, in uh, nationwide and, and local amateur competitions. So some great things coming in from, from uh, uh, Kevon Robinson of Stanton, Virginia. So soon we find out some more information about that, we'll pass that along to you. But for now, we wrap up things here from Coppin State University. The Boxing Along the Beltway post fight wrap up show is brought to you in part by UndisputedBrand.com. Visit UndisputedBrand.com for the finest in boxing and mixed martial arts apparel. Undisputed Brand, the brand true champions wear. And by JM Photography, where your home is your studio. At JM Photography 26 at Yahoo.com. For Juan Marshall, ProAmFightTalk.blogspot.com. And for the Fight Doctor, the DC Boxing Hall of Famer, the Fight Doctor Jerome Spears, I'm Gary Digital Williams saying so long from Coppin State University in West Baltimore, Maryland. And always remember to keep supporting the best boxing in the world, the boxing along the Beltway. Take care.